All right, what is happening? Um, today I'm making a tor t tutorial, um, <laughs> on th this kind of effect here. I just need to turn this down. You can see little file like. Wait, we'll drag it back here. As you can see, little kind of fire things there. They're basically circles. They look like fireflies, and you can see it kind of dragging on tr there. You can perfectly see it. So basically, we're gonna make that effect, and we're gonna transfer it onto Sony Vegas. I'm gonna split this up into two parts, so um, uh, I I won't upload at the same time. So please give this a like and a favor, because this is my first tutorial on this channel. Yeah, so let's get started. Um, as well. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I have to keep going now. Um, basically, want to just get a, make a sphere. Um, bring it down to five. As you can see, it's tiny now. Then you want to come down to this kind of square with bubbles coming over, basically. And you want to click on emitter, or just click once on it. Um, I'm just gonna drag this back here. Um, then what you want to do is bring the sphere and ho hold it hover it over emitter until it uh has an arrow pointing down and then let go of your right click or left click then what you can see is that the emitter or the sphere is an emitter is a child of the emitter um that basically means wherever you bring that emitter the child goes with it which is sphere which is the sphere um, you just want to flatten it up like this, the emitter, and then we want to click on the emitter, come onto the particle tab. As you can see now, when we play it, there's not that much going on. What you want to do now is you want to bump up the birth rate editor to 40 and the birth rate renderer to 40, which gives it a lot more, as you can see. So, the emitter, what you want to do next is click on the emitter tab. And the Y size, you want to bring it up to, uh, I'll bring it up to a thousand, which just lengthens it more in length ways that way. Um, you don't need to worry about that. So now it's, as you can see, if you bring it back to the start, it's it gives a, a lot more and it's more spread out, which is better. Um, next, what you want to do is a Actually, when you render this, you can see it's there. It's okay and everything like that. What you want to do next is you want to come back over here and onto the emitter with the, the square with the bubbles. <laughs> you want to click on uh, turbulence, and you want to just bring this back over here. Turbulence, and then what you want to do is just bring that there, center, whatever. Um, as you can see now, there's no not really happening there. Bring the strength up to a hundred. Bring it back to the start. As you can see, it's looking a lot more free fall, kind of free around, doing whatever it want, wants. Um, so yeah, you can even bring that up to two hundred if you want to. But uh, after a while, it starts to go a bit too crazy. Eh? I don't know where I like that. I don't know. One next, what you want to do is bring your frames up to about 250 and drag this up here as you can see it just goes away I think it might actually bring down the turbulence to 150 um, so you play it out now I'm just gonna keep playing it now um, and just about there it stops emitting you might want that, but sometimes you mightn't. What you want to do for that is a meter. As you can see, the stop emission is 150, which is here. And it just doesn't emit anymore. What you want to do is bring that up to 220 or 2. This is 250, so 230. We'll bring it up to stop emitting. And then we can just play on, you know what happens. And then it's just going to, like, to be a lot more when you play it from the start. Just let it go roll on it should stop right about here yeah so that's pretty well done there you want to just line your camera up like this first what you want to do is you want to give the sphere a color 
Uh, so coming down to your materials, double click or file new material and you have your uh, material. So click twice on that and we'll open it up here. Next you want to go into color and then drag it up to the whitest as possible, take off specular um, then glow. You want to come up to glow, turn the inner strength to about 25 and the outer strength to about 75 it should do um there shouldn't be really anything else there no next you want to bring the mat or the material sorry it just has mat as a uh, abbreviation bring it onto the spear as you can see that little ball there that reaches the base thing is what it is um now just wait render it out and you can see it's a lot glowier it looks a lot better um yeah so now what you want to do is you might want to you might want to lengthen this i think i might do that i left it too short bring it up to 2000 now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to uh maybe we mightn't no we don't um next what you want to do is basically you have everything okay there there's a black background, make sure there's black background. Do not put unless you're using it for an intro or something, just make sure it's black background. Um next you wanna come on to camera, just make sure come on to camera and make sure there's a little square with a dot in it, make sure that's white. Then just add a add a keyframe and add a keyframe and you're okay. You don't actually really have to do that but that's if you want to make sure it's okay. Next, you want to come up to here where your render settings are. And you want to click on output on the output preset. Click the arrow. Yeah, click the arrow. Film, film slash video. And you want to come down to H HDV forward slash. I my words are mixed up. It's like two o'clock. HDTV twenty five. You want twenty five at the end of it. And you want to click on all frames. That's all okay there, unless you know what you're doing. Whatever else you want to do, don't touch it otherwise. Save. I want to save as QuickTime or AVI. I doesn't matter. That's up to you. And we're going to click on Fireflies. I'm going to call this one because I already have this. I already did this. And we're just bringing it to here. Um. You know, I come to multi pass. You don't need me for that. Um, then anti analyzing is that how you say it? Come on, ge ge geometry and click on best, then filter, animation, max the minimum level one by one, maximum two by two, and then options. Everything else is okay to do. So we'll just X out of that, and as you can see, make sure everything is done. You might want to get that line there. So you know that you're getting everything there. Next, you just want to click on the render button and just let that render. What I'm going to do is actually I'm just going to pause this and come back when it's done. Okay. All right, now we're finished, and if you play this, you should get your little firefly effect. And yeah. There, it's finished. So basically, from here, what you can actually do is you can make that. You can base an intro around it if you want to. Um, you can do that. Or uh, what I'm going to do in the next part, which is click on the screen somewhere I don't know where, um, and I'll have uh, the next part on how to do it in a little clip. So uh, thank you for watching this part, and please come over to the next one. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Bye.